Yes, Dawn Pickett sustained very severe injuries, very much at the higher end of survivability, as well as having major uh, injuries to the abdomen and also the chest, requiring uh, for part of the time uh, a full heart massage for resuscitation and large volumes of uh, blood. She also sustained uh, complex skeletal injuries involving all four limbs. And this was particularly challenging in relation to, to both the injury to her left knee and her right elbow, which required uh, essentially reconstructing on a bench uh, and then reinserting the, the, the reconstructed bone into the body, securing it safely, and then subsequently, uh, some months later, uh, further additional surgery to give adjuncts to, to uh, achieve bone healing. Some of these are very much pioneering techniques and, and uh, some uh, bespoke solutions for her own complex problems. Yes, Dawn has progressed extraordinarily well, both in the acute phase from resuscitation and our general surgical services, and that was undoubtedly her life-saving surgery. From the point of view of her, her limbs, she's actually gained excellent functional outcome from these complex injury. She did have a devastating injury to one of her joints, which ultimately will need a joint replacement. But this actually has enabled, the surgery she's had thus far has enabled her to, to have a good functional outcome, to return to a fairly normal, albeit somewhat less active life. And as we know also, uh, she now has uh, twins and she's able to manage uh, uh, them well. And also that has fulfilled, I think, uh, uh, one of her dreams in her life. The, so this award really is a tremendous achievement for not only this trust but our colleagues in the university nearby. It enables us to take forward the, the challenges that we see in the management of our trauma patients and to evolve new therapies and, and new ideas which, which for so long uh, we've wished to embrace. Uh, this to me is the achievement of a, of a long ambition in the sense that we will now have a robust research resource which will embrace not only this trust but also very much the expertise within the university nearby. We have a wealth of clinical patients here with their own individual challenges, particularly the military patients. And we know that we have to look at clinical solutions, particularly in relation to injury, wound healing, infection. And I think this will give us a chance to do that. Not only will we be doing uh, clinical research, we will also have the chance to do a lot of lab-based research and therefore develop ideas right from the beginning, right the way through to implementation. And at the end of this, influence positively clinical outcomes.